how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining. My name is Brandy. Some of you may know me as Live With Biv on Instagram. I do also have a blog at livewithbiv.com. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. All right guys, so today I'm clearly rolling with the big hair because I like big hair and I cannot lie. <laughs> Oh boy, sorry about that. So, <laughs> today I'm going to be reviewing the China Glaze Kelly Dreams Collection. I've been waiting and 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 waiting for this collection to arrive from China Glaze, but it hadn't come yet, so I went ahead and ordered it from Beyond Polish. Beyond Polish does have this entire collection except for one in stock. The one that they don't have in stock is Shore Feels Good, so I went ahead and purchased that from Sally Beauty. They currently have it in stock. If you guys do want to purchase the other seven from Beyond Polish, I do have an affiliate code with them. It has changed since my last video, so my new affiliate code with Beyond Polish is BIV10, so BIV10. It will give you 10% off regularly priced items. If you don't want to use an affiliate code, that's fine. But if you do, thank you. It does help me to purchase more collections and do more reviews for you guys. So I appreciate it. All right, so the China Glaze website says this about the collection. It says, inspired by the sultry orange sunsets, cool blue skies, and coastal surf of California. And I am so obsessed with these colors. So I love sunsets, I love the beach, I love I love anything outside. So I was super excited about this collection. The oranges make the perfect sunset mani. The blues make the perfect sky blue mani. The beige color is a perfect sand color. So I'm obsessed with them all. All right, let's get into the swatches so you guys can choose which ones you wanna buy. Okay, so getting into this first polish. This polish is I'm No Tourist. This is described as a barely there nude beige cream. This is a gorgeous polish. I did two coats in the live swatch, two coats in the swatch picture, and I'm obsessed. This totally looks just like sand without the texture. <laughs> All right, and then here we have it compared to a few Essie polishes. So I compared it to Expressy Crop Top and Roll and Buns Up, and then I also compared it to Essie Come Out to Clay, No Dupes Here. And then here you can see it compared to Essie Stirring Secrets and the Snuggle is Real. And then OPI My Vampire is Buff is one of my fave off-white polishes. So I was hoping it was closer than it actually is. You can see that I'm No Tourist actually has a little bit more peach in it. And then here we have Essie Mixed Taupe, Essie Topless and Barefoot, and Essie Spin the Bottle. I would say these polishes are probably the closest. Essie Topless and Barefoot is really close, but it's a tad bit more pink. And then here we have Essie Saint Tropez, Essie Mindful Meditation, and Essie Lighten the Mood. You can see no dupes here. And then here we have Essie You're a Catch, Essie Urban Jungle, and Essie Happy As Can Be from the Keep Me Posted collection. And then up next, here we have Live In The Moment. The description for Live In The Moment says, there's always plenty of cute fish in the sea when you wear this frothy, light sea foam cream from our new Cali Dreams collection. This is a polish that I did need three coats on. So I did three coats in a live swatch, three coats in the swatch picture. This is an absolutely stunning polish for spring. It's kind of a pastel, but it's a little bit brighter. So I'm definitely loving this one. So I compared this one to a few mint polishes coming up. This polish probably had my least favorite formula of all of these, primarily. I mean, it's three coats, but it was a little bit more of a streaky three coats. Not bad, but not great. It's still a beautiful polish. And then here we have it compared to Essie Find Me an Oasis, Essie Borrowed and Blue, and Essie Blue La La. You can see the mint in the polish here and that the other polishes are more blue. And then here we have it compared to OPI Mexico City Movement, which is pretty close. And then Essie Mint Candy Apple, this version has turned blue, obviously. And then Zoya Val, which is clearly more blue. 
And then here we have OPI Susie Without a Paddle compared to Live in the Moment as well as OPI Gelato on My Mind and Olive and June Angelfish. And last but not least, I had to compare the new Orly Happy Camper to Live in the Moment. And you can see the Orly Happy Camper is much more mint and much brighter. Okay, and next up we have Sunny You Should Ask. I would say it's probably more accurate in the live swatch. It's just a fun orange. And you'll actually get a better idea of this polish color when I show you the comparisons. This is a... Two coaters, I did two coats in the live swatch, two coats in the swatch picture, and the China Glaze website describes this polish as a radiant orangey cream, and it's just gorgeous. This is pretty much a perfect orange for fall. And so I compared it to SE Fall for NYC, and you can see it is pretty close. I also compared it to China Glaze's Delta Darling, which I forgot how much I love that polish, and SE Claim to Fame. And then here we have it compared to Essie Madrid It for the Gram from the Keep Me Posted collection. OPI, Coraling, Your Spirit Animal. And Essie Jocateur, Coastal Couture. Holy crap, that is a tongue twister. <laughs> and then we have it compared to Essie Expressi Strong at 1%. Essie Expressi Energize and Wise. And Essie Expressi Don't Hate, Curate. And no dupes here. And then here we have it compared to Orly Kitch You Later, Essie Set in Sandstone, and Essie Souk Up the Sun. Okay, and next up we have Tangerine Heat. I love this color. This is described as a beachy peachy creamsicle. And I would say that's an absolutely accurate description. I have nothing like this in my collection. It's gorgeous. It is a three coater, but it's an easy three coater. This is three coats in the live swatch, three coats in the swatch picture. And here I compared it to Orly Kitch You Later, SE Set in Sandstone, and SE Souk Up the Sun. And you can see it looks a little bit more yellow than those polishes. So I pulled out some yellows. So here's SE Check Your Baggage, SE Fall for NYC, which is not yellow, but I compared it anyway. And then SE You Know the Espadrille. And then some more yellows, I compared it to Essie Feeling Wellies because I was feeling welly. No, I was feeling like it was pretty similar to Tangerine Heat, but you can see it's much lighter. And then I compared it to China Glaze Sunny You Should Ask from this collection. Okay, and then next up we have Vacay Dreams. The China Glaze website says, take a vacation from your situation and pretend you're at a beach destination in this dreamy light pink cream. And that's also a very accurate description of this polish. For this polish, I did two coats in the live swatch and two coats in the swatch picture, but I feel like it really needs three coats because it was a tad bit streaky. They're super easy coats, great formula, super easy to apply, so it's not a hassle at all to apply the three coats. And then here we have this polish compared to Essie Around the Bend. Essie, excuse me, sir, and Essie Check In to Check Out. You can see that Around the Bend and Excuse Me, Sir are a little more pink. And so I decided to also compare it to Essie High Class Affair since that is a little bit more peachy. And you can see Essie High Class Affair is a little bit more nude. And then I also compared Gel Couture Stitched in Sandy and Essie Peach Side Babe. You can see no dupes there. Here we have a comparison to Essie Vandigo, Essie Expressy, All Things O O O and Essie Pinkies Out. You can see it compared to Essie Jean Couture Couture Curator, another tongue twister, Coastal Couture, and You're a Catch. No dupes there. And then next up we have Sunset Crew. So this orange is more of like, think lounge lover, flying solo, throw in a towel type of orange. So not really orange at all, actually. <laughs> So the website says that China Glaze Sunset Crew is a stunning pink corally cream. It's got a very nice formula. It's a two coater. I did two coats in the live swatch, two coats in the swatch picture. And then here you have it compared to some of those corally colors. So here we have Essie Lounge Lover, Essie Throw on the Towel, and then Essie Pin Me Pink, which is a lot more pink. And then here we have Essie Flying Solo, 
and Essie Guilty Pleasures. And then here is my fave. <laughs> this is Surfside Skies. If you guys saw my Instagram stories yesterday, I actually posted a swatch of this color because I was seriously in awe. So this is a two coater. You could do one more coat for absolute full opacity if you have longer nails. I did two coats in the swatch picture and then three coats in the live swatch. And then here we have it compared to Essie Bikini So Teeny, Essie Saltwater Happy, and Essie You Do Blue. And then we have it compared to L Polish Wisteria, OPI I Am What I Amethyst, and OPI Poly Want a Lacquer. And then last but not least, we have Shore Feels Good. And this polish sure feels good on my nails. This is described as a splashy blue cream and it's gorgeous. It's opaque in two coats. I did two coats in the light swatch, two coats in the swatch picture. And I had to compare it to some older blues from Essie. So I compared it to Essie Strut Your Stuff and Essie Namaste the Night. And then I also compared to Olive and June, Yes Please. No dupes there. And then here we have it compared to Essie Roam Around from the Keep Me Posted collection, Essie in the Cabana, and Essie Take the Lead. Again, no dupes here. All right guys, so which polish was your fave? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any other requests for collections for me to review. Coming up soon, I'm going to be doing a top spring polishes, probably a top spring polishes by Essie and then a top spring polishes overall. And then I'm also going to be reviewing the Essie Summer. I know, we're talking summer already, but if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I posted in my stories four of the polishes from the new Summer 2021 collection. I do have those four on the way. I have to figure out what the other two are, but as soon as I find out, I will let you guys know. But anyways, like I was saying, go ahead and leave a comment down below for what you guys want to see, what polish was your fave. Leave a comment about whatever you want because I love talking to you guys in the comments. Let me know what you like about this video. Let me know what you don't like about this video. Let me know what you want to see. And then have an absolutely amazing day and amazing week. Love you guys. Bye.